we made it back to the camper after a nice probably about a half day of adventuring out there i think we're just going to kind of relax for the rest of the day and just chill right here it's a beautiful day warm out but it feels good we've been holding on to uh two of the bottles of beer that we had bought whenever we were at hot springs i believe it was uh, superior bathhouse brewing so we bought two of our favorites there i'm going to go ahead and pull one out we'll just put some fresh ice in there so we got two of these larger growlers right there that i had been keeping on ice this was some excellent beer and we uh, really enjoyed drinking there superior bathhouse brewery <laughs> i'm really excited i'm really excited. abby's really excited so we just made plans for a new adventure and i was talking earlier about the atv rentals and the jeep rentals so i called the place in town that was right across from the uh, k's burger place they seem like the one of the main ones and we were we talked about we wanted to go ahead and do two atv rentals so we each have an atv and go up on the trails and uh, this is labor day weekend so they are fully booked but she did have one side by side available for monday labor day yep. and so we took it so we're going to do another it's going to be a razor just like the thing we had before uh side by side brand new trail yep and they meet us where we were just at out there at the uh, four mile i think it's called four mile trail out there in brown's yep. uh canyon and uh, it worked out perfect because when she said that's the only place they go to i'm like that's where we perfect. wanted to go ride perfect i can't so, wait to go up in there it's a half day rental it's nine to one o'clock you can do full day rentals also but uh, we're going to do the half day and so we're going to meet them out there and uh and just have a little side by side you know utv adventure do you out think there. there's gonna be a place for a picnic there's yes there's <laughs> gonna be there's plenty of places up there okay good all you do is just pull off the side of the road and just say we're gonna picnic right here that's what we're gonna do we'll take our cooler with us yeah. and uh and we're gonna go explore some trails i was studying the map earlier and there's just miles of off-road trails and that's so exciting about this area is that you know i grew up riding dirt bikes and four-wheelers in florida and I mean, we had places that we went ride, nothing like out here in Colorado. And one of the reasons I got out of it is because all the places that we used to go ride was being closed up and made to where you couldn't go there anymore. So I really don't know very many places that you can go and, and ride ATVs and dirt bikes anymore. And uh, out here, they are everywhere. There's trails everywhere that you can ride. Four-wheelers, dirt bikes, UTVs, ATVs, all, all of it. It's awesome. Yeah. So anyway i was excited i just wanted to share that with you guys i'm still enjoying some of my uh, superior bathhouse brewery and i'm enjoying here. some water she, and she's got some water over there she'll get a beer later though and we are just going to sit here and we're just enjoying the camp that's what we're doing enjoying the camp enjoying the afternoon having us a drink yep and we'll probably make some burritos we're going to cook Let's some burritos, burritos later yes we're going to do burritos for dinner yep sounds like a plan yep. so we were just sitting here people watching because that's what you do at a spot like this because mm -hmm. it is check-in from two until nine o'clock mm -hmm. and last night there was people coming in here until nine o'clock it is yeah. labor day weekend but um one of the things that we were joking about just now is uh so i'll pan you over here right behind the monkey there there's a gmc that just pulled in with that jayco there was two people that pulled in. You see them over there? See, that's them. They're standing there like, this won't work. This <laughs> we know is not. The stance, don't we, we didn't. We the did hands, not pay for this site. When the hands go on the hip, <laughs> both hands on hips. That's me. You're thinking, that and you're upset. I'm upset, or I know you're upset, or I know we're gonna have to move, or you're about to go T Rex. T Rex. T Rex. Okay, but what we're pointing out, yeah. okay, is our spot is great, right? but every great spot you have means that there's something wrong with it that's true okay so we got a great spot because there's nobody next to us right now we got the traffic that's one thing but it's yeah. not too bad because it's not right here it's over there no we really get to be nosy which i don't hate so there's a lot of people that walk through with their dogs so we you know wave at them they say hi but all right here's the funny thing about this spot all right you see gmc over there he's backing up at night time those headlights blind you. They are so bright. 
We got it all night last night. There was, for what whatever reason, somebody pulled in there, unhooked. Okay, they, and then they hooked up again yeah, they didn't like and it. pulled out. Yep. Okay, so we got all that time of blinding light over here. <laughs> And then, the, and then they put somebody else there, like nine o'clock. We were just out here chilling, watch, looking at the stars. We were looking at the stars, yep. listening to Mumford and Son, yep. and um, somebody else came in at nine, lights blinding us, <laughs> blinding, okay? All right, so you have this here. The cougar right there, same thing. Lights blinding us when they come in, because yep. they came in at nine. But here's the kicker. On the KOA building over there, on the side of the building right there that's where people can like pull in and stop to go inside they have two huge floodlight spotlights one's a floodlight and one is a spotlight and one goes directly and it comes it is pointed directly <laughs> at us right exactly. here and it, it, it looks like a q beam is on you can see it from space no yeah. doubt about it <laughs> okay so that's what we that's what we figured out is the bad thing about this spot is that the uh lights the lights from this side and the lights from that side come in. All right, I'm filming this for proof. So we've got one right over there. You can see the golf cart coming in with his high beams on. The truck right behind him. See how bright that is? Yep. Well, there's the golf cart coming through. All right, next to the truck. Even though that's three slots down, there's the golf cart. See how bright it is right over here on us. He has like Q-beams on that golf cart here, it goes by. And then there, over there on the building, is the spotlight right in our eyes. All right, yep, there's a the truck shining his beam. Oh, oh, he turned them off. Oh my goodness. The other guys did not turn their lights off. Wow. Oh, and the, and the Q-beam just went off over there. Nice, now but, you can see the stars now. But the cart will show up over there because that's where his garage door at. His garage door is right there. After He's gonna. Light shine in our as eyes. soon as it goes off, he rides up and gets off his golf cart, and let, and it's on for another 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so so if the Q beam is off and these headlights are off over here, we can actually look up. You probably can't see it, but you can see the stars. Yep. Stars are up there. I know this is a horrible clip. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see anything. 